whistle to start the game. Good following, as we said earlier, by the Aldershot Flans, who our comments positions is high up above the halfway line, and we're looking across at 45 degrees to the right, and that's where the Aldershot fans mostly reside. As Paul Johnson gets a full start there. Now he decides to get the game going. Crowd of players all in the same area. You can see Casey Pettit there amongst them. Remy Clarima in that little huddle there just outside the six yard box. And he's gone in! Did he get a deflection or did he go straight in? I think he's gone straight in from Sam Barris. Free kick! We're in the third minute and the home side already got the lead. Maynard United won. Order shot nil. Corner comes in. Dangerous. And it's out. Karima. Definitely that's on his goal. Stealing in at the back post. Not picked up by Order shot. We only just had five minutes and Maynard are two goals up. Maynard United two. Order shot town nil. At the moment, Azare hobbling. Charlie Adams is back on, so they're back up to their full complement, but Sare certainly trying to run off. His Abraham picks up the loose ball. Abraham's into the penalty area. Oh, he didn't hit his run hard enough, and it was an easy save for Van Staffers show off. Look over the header. Van Staffers show off had plenty of time to see and pushed it wide. But Oh, Loco closed down. Dandor. There's the post. Cleared off the line, I think. I think it might have been. It was Daly with the shot, and uh, I think it might have been Azare there who cleared the ball off the line. Just trying to find Abrahams, who missed him, and uh, chance for Stokes to clear the ball. Not quite Lines sure. Cover. Not, Sorry, Michael. Not quite sure what Barrett was doing there. I think he got hit that one first time. He's he got sort of stuck under his feet yeah. a bit, I think, and then he found himself with the back to goal and obviously wanted to try and tease someone up. Azare, not a good touch. Stokes. Gandor with the sharp. Got by Clarima. That for, uh, I think, all the shots first corner. Looking at my notes. Solad, recognisable by his ponytails. Swiss player. Oh, a poor clearance. A chance for Man Mitchell Lawson to break forward. Tries to shot and it got a deflection off Hadfield head Hadfield and Van Stappen show off had to react at his near post to put it behind for another corner. About 15 minutes gone in this second half uh, and a couple of minutes time we'll ask Michael to have a look at uh, what the latest scores are in other games that are affecting sides in the relegation battle in the National League. And they've got the ball back again. Daniel George turned into traffic but managed to get the ball to Pettit. Beckwith. Nathaniel George. Gets the ball to the bar line as he puts it to the penalty area. The penalty. Nathaniel George turned beautifully, got to the bar line. Clumsy challenge by the Aldershot defender. Seen a pretty clear penalty to me and uh, Charles and Maida to really cement their lead here. Yeah, I'll say. And I think it was a yellow, a, a double yellow card, sorry, a yellow card for Kaji, and I think he's off. Got a hand to it, but couldn't push it wide. Push it into the side net. And Charlie Adams gets a third goal for Maynard. Maynard three. All shot down there. But will fall to Adams, who calmly turns it back to Beckwith. Abraham's. Got another penalty. 
as he tried to turn Harris. He got clipped and referee Johnson decided that was inside the penalty area and Maynard have got another penalty. Slightly cheaper one than the one before. In other words, I thought the one before was more clear cut, Michael, but uh, well, another, another sending off. Let's watch this penalty by Charlie Adams. And he scores. Maynard four. Paul is up town now. I think the referee's going the final whistle, he has. Final whistle here at Yule Road, and what an eventful game we've had today. He's finished Maynard United 4, Aldershot Town 0.